video, we'll cover how to add markups to a drawing. Let's open a drawing. Within a drawing, we can open the markup toolbar here. Note that you will only see tools that are enabled for this project. The first set of tools available allows us to select individual parts of the markup. Use the multi-select using a rectangular shape or lasso a freeform selection area. When an item or items are selected, we can move them around the drawing, publish them, or delete them if needed. The next set of tools is the pen and highlight. With these tools, we can draw freehand shapes on the drawing. To draw a straight line, simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard as you draw. Once we've drawn our shape, we can use the select tool to move the markup, publish the markup, attach an item to the markup, or delete the markup. Note that only we can see any markups made here unless they are published. Once published, the markups will be visible to anyone with access to the drawing. The next set of tools allows us to mark up the drawing with the chosen shape. We can change the color, thickness, and opacity of a shape here. Once a shape is drawn, we can select it to move it, publish the shape, attach a related item, or delete the shape. After this, we have the arrow and line tools. Similar to shapes, select the tool and customize the look then add it to the drawing. Use the select tool to adjust, publish, attach, or delete. Next, use the text tool to add a quick note anywhere on the drawing. Draw a text box and then enter your message. Note that the font size and the color of the box can both be changed even after the markup is published. We can also use the corners of the text box to adjust the size. When finished, publish the markup and or attach related items. The next set of tools is the measuring tools. Before using these tools, you'll need to calibrate the drawing. We will find a location on the drawing with a known measurement and drag the calibration from one end to the other. Then we'll enter the length. We can then use the distance, area, and freehand tools to assess various measurements on the drawing. Now we have the drawing link tool. This enables us to draw shapes that will be linked directly to other drawing sheets. To draw symmetrical shapes, hold down the shift key. Then we will link a drawing. Now when another teammate views this drawing, they can click this item and see the link drawing. The last group of tools is pins. Here, we can add pins to link to items within available tools. Let's link a photo to this markup. We'll select the photo pin then we can upload a file from our device or directly from the Procore Photos tool. Once published, another teammate looking at this drawing will be able to select a pen and see the attached item. While we're making markups to this drawing, the drawing markup activity feed here was being updated. This feed displays a chronological list of markups that were added to the drawing. In addition to the activity feed, we can search throughout the drawing set and view the general information of this drawing. The filter markup feature can be used to view or hide specific layers and markup types. Next, let's view the QR code for this drawing. This QR code can be printed and posted at job sites for teams to scan and open the drawing directly on their mobile device. We can also download the drawing directly here. All of the work we did to mark up this drawing is automatically saved, and when finished, we can close the drawing editor. Since we publish markups to the drawing, this has markup icon will appear. For more information about marking up drawings, visit support.procore.com. Thanks for watching.